friends, so for this activity from Manipulative Art, we are still with the safari theme and we are going to continue making animal friends, right? Yeah. So we were learning about hippos earlier today, do you remember? Yeah. Did we say that our animal friends, the hippos, live on land or water? Water. So today we're going to do an activity with our hands. Does yeah. that make you excited? Yeah. Do you want to make a hippo out of your hand? Yeah. So can I paint on your hand? Okay. Yeah? So for this activity, either the instructor or the teacher uh, or the child can paint on their hand. So what color did we say our hippo friends were? Um, maybe gray. Gray, correct. We're going to take with the light sponge a little bit of the paint. This comes off, so you just send your child to wash their hands after, and you slightly start painting their hand. It's so cold. It's cold? Does it tickle? Yeah. Okay. So, this will leave the base, the body of the hippo, or whatever animal you choose to do. You just take slight strokes like this. Take a little bit of more paint. Is this exciting? Do you like this? Yeah. You can show your family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But me and my family going to kindergarten, just not anybody. Oh, nice. Yeah, kinder should be fun. You're gonna be a big girl. Okay. Go ahead and flip and do your handprint on the water. Okay, so we'll put this out to the side. We'll press it like five seconds. Can you help me count to five? Yeah. One, One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Do you want to see if your print came down already? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Ah. Uh oh, uh oh. That's so cool. All right. So we're going to take a quick pause. And you're gonna go wash your hands and then we'll come back. So now that we have the body, what do our hippo friends need? We need eyeballs and glue. Eyeballs and glue. And what about a tail? Does a hippo have a tail? Yeah, we have a marker here. That's a marker. Are you gonna draw the tail with the pink or the mouth? Yep. Which one? Um what color is it? Gray? Yeah, our hippo friends are gray. So you can either do the tail with gray or black. What color do you want to do the tail? It's I, up to you. I think we're still um, purple. Oh, you want to do a purple? Okay, you're going to make it unique. You're going to do a pink mouth. All right, so do you want to add some googly eyes on there to make your hippo come to life? Yeah. What, what size of eye are you going to give your friend Hippo? I'm going to do this one and this one. Okay, you're going to glue two of them. Do you need my help or are you good there? I'm good there. Okay, go ahead. This side or this side? So with our thumb, we're going to make the face of the Hippo. Mm, okay. I think your glue is closed there, friend. Oh. Okay. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's closed. <laughs> you need help some me. Tough muscles there. Well, maybe look at it. This will help if you open it. Oh. Okay. okay. I got this. Small dots, remember, friend? Ah. Oh. One. Two. Cool. Are you going to add your eyes now? One. Two. Okay. Are you going to draw the tail? The I like mouth. the tail. You're going to do the tail pink? Yeah. So remember our friends Hippo have curly tails, so just do a little curls. Awesome job. What about the mouth? Are you going to draw the mouth? Yeah. Awesome. Would you like to write your name on the paper? What color? Uh, blue. Blue, okay. Oh, let's see. Maybe I won't be too light. Like Elsa. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Right here on the right corner, friend. I'm 
name is Jasmine. His name is Jasmine. Thank you for doing it. Do you want to try another activity? Yes. Awesome. So we're going to move this one out of the way and we'll prepare for the next one, okay? Okay. So as a continuation to our manipulative art and safari theme, um, our friend wanted to do another project and to and we are going to make another puppet, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what animal is this that also forms part of the safari? We missed at the, the gym. And then, and then, it's a lion. It's a lion, right. What sound does a lion make? Roar. Roar, yeah. And does a lion have a little bit of hair or a lot of crazy hair? A lot of crazy hair. Cool. So, today we are going to make a puppet out of a popsicle stick that's going to be a lion. Are you ready? Yeah. Cool. So for this, you're going to need... Glue, eyes, stick, uh, hair. Hair made out of yarn and Color. colors. So what's the first thing you are going to do to your puppet? First, we need glue. Glue? What are you going to glue on there? Yeah, go ahead and show us. First, we need two eyes. Okay, good job with your small dots of glue. Okay. Do you have nails? I do have nails, but we're gonna let that dry. Are you gonna glue the little pieces of hair on there? Yeah. Possibly, maybe even like this. So we need glue first. Yeah, you need glue. You want? You probably want to put glue all right here. Okay. Hopefully, you don't fall. Well, we probably should have put the eyeballs last, huh? No. That's okay. We'll see. So then, you're gonna start gluing your pieces of hair. You know what's the cool thing? Yeah. That we can probably use it as a pointer when we use story time and calendar time. Everything. These little um, puppet sticks are going to help us. Yeah, I have some elements from the house. Cool. Let's continue gluing. You're doing an excellent job. Can I help you? Yeah. Cool. Let's fix that one. Get it on there so it don't fall off. I'm out of glue. That's crazy hair. <laughs> Reminds me of me when I wake up. Awesome. Are you done with the hair? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to draw a nose on there? Yes. What about the little whisker in the mouth? Awesome. I think you did an excellent job. Do you want to let that dry and then share with their friends a little bit later? Yes. So again, what sound did the lion make? Roar. Roar. Super cool. And with that wild hair, we can sure find our friends in the wild, right? Can you say goodbye to the camera? Say thank you, friends. <laughs> thank you.